Hey everybody. I feel like as we are gradually doing up this apartment that it's gonna get harder and harder to see me because like black on black eventually I will just disappear. We've already sat on the cat a few times because he's black, everything's black. He's invisible, you can't see him, and everything is invisible, and eventually I will be invisible too, probably, so. Anyway, today I'm here to show you something that I think a lot of you will be extremely excited about because I know I was. These days in general, and especially in certain parts of the world, it can be extremely hard to find pike shoes or winkle pickers, and that is a damn shame because not only do they look awesome, they're kind of like a symbol of the whole well. Thing. They're one of the trad goth cliches. They're one of the essentials for a really good outfit. They finish off any outfit. It doesn't matter if you're male or female or whatever, or if you're wearing trousers or a skirt or anything. Pikes look good with everything. They're so distinctively 80s, and the traditional goth fashion really is still very much rooted in the 80s. If I ever post a picture of some pikes on Tumblr, it gets thousands of notes. They're extremely popular. Everybody loves them, but most people don't know where the fuck to find them because for some reason, uh, they're just so hard to find. But today I'm here to tell you the best place that you can go to get pike shoes of your very own. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you my new shoes. Oh, are they not beautiful? Are they not perfect? These boots came from the Gothic Shoe Company. The website is very easy to remember, it's just gothicshoecompany.com but I will put a link in the description box below for you and also specifically for this particular pair I've been wanting some boots from the gothic shoe company for such a long time I really have god I realized I've just got like a bit of stigmata going on almost almost stigmata well it is kind of like Easter time so ooh, appropriate the pikes I had before were okay they look really nice I've had them for less than a year and they are kind of falling apart already I don't know what brand those ones are from I think they were like UK underground or something. So I really wanted a pair from the Gothic Shoe Company and I finally got some. Oh! Mm. The new boot smells. Never worn before by human feet. I had a really hard time deciding on a style, but I've chosen these ones. These are from their old school 80s collection and they have nine buckles going up the side and they lace up as well. So putting them on is commitment. They're actually so old fashioned, like there's no zip on the side or anything to make them easier to do up. To take them on and put them off, you have to lace them up and buckle them up. I like that. There's no cheating involved. There's more commitment and dedication. I didn't know exactly how long it would take to make them because they would be made for me. I wasn't really sure what size to give them either because you know UK, European, Australian, New Zealand, and American sizes were different so I just measured my feet with a tape measure and said oh yeah they're about 25 centimeters. They were like cool and like the next week I had these at my house. <laughs> I've had plenty of bad experiences buying shoes online and they've been like way too small or way too big or way too wide or whatever, but these fit me absolutely perfectly. So I'll tell you why I chose this particular style. These ones are the real flat, traditional, trad, goth style shoes. These really are so delightfully old fashioned. They look totally from the 80s. They're so genuine, they're so traditional, they're the real like grufty shoes. <gasps> I mean, you can get these as shoes or boots. You can get them with different amounts of buckles on. The buckles come in all different shapes and shit. It's really fucking cool. These are just normal ones, but you can get like bat buckles and coffin buckles. I will definitely be getting another pair because like I said, it was freaking hard to make up my mind. So I need a shelf full of these. I really do. So let's have a close up look. Let's get uncomfortably close. Like I said at the start of the video, black and black, it's kind of hard to see. The inside is really soft. The fabric is soft but sturdy. On these ones there are three lots of three straps which buckle up on the other side so that's the side that you see when you're walking. These are so typically characteristic of the old school 80s shoes. Really flat sole and a flat heel and really pointed toe. Really pointy. You might think that a really pointed toe would be hard to walk in but it isn't. These are easy to walk in. These are so comfortable. You wouldn't think so to look at them, would you? But they are so comfortable. They're so soft. They're so comfortable. It's like wearing socks. <laughs> it feels like wearing socks and they fit me like a glove for the feet. <laughs> like a shoe. <laughs> and these are made of real leather. Like you can choose what you want your shoes made out of. You can choose real leather or patent leather or veggie leather 
or suede or you can send them your own fabric or whatever and say what you're after and they'll see what they can do for you. Personally I think that just ordinary leather looks the best. As much as I love shiny shoes I like these best in you know matte black. The only problem I had while ordering was trying to fucking decide because they have so many choices and they can make something especially for you. So yeah I'm gonna have to start saving so that I can fill my shelf with beautiful custom pikes. <laughs> this particular pair I am going to be wearing to our wedding civil ceremony, which is in <laughs> two weeks. This is what you want to wear to wave gothic treffin or to festivals or gigs. This is what you want to wear when you're traipsing around cemeteries at night. Definitely not looking for skeletons that were buried too shallow. And I cannot recommend them highly enough. They're beautiful. These are so beautiful and really made with love. It's always very sweet at parties and things and people come together and they, you know, put all their pointy shoes together in a little circle and it's like, yay, we're together. I don't often make videos about one product or one brand or whatever, but I felt like it was really important that you should see where I got these from because like I said so many of you are wondering where to find these and personally before I discovered the gothic shoe company I had no idea where to find them either. I can tell I'm going to get a hell of a lot of wear out of these and I can tell that they're a lot better quality than the last pikes I had. I wore my first pair of pikes until they literally had no soles left. I was walking around on my socks it was a bit sad but they were so it was just so hard to find new ones like impossible I just couldn't find any anywhere. I don't want any of you to have to go through that experience so here I am now showing you where you can get some for yourself. Really good ones. You're welcome. Thank you very much for watching and if you have yet to do so please subscribe to my lovely channel. I make at least two videos every week. I don't own many shoes, I don't own many boots, I wish I did but I don't but that's something I have to fix. Like people are always asking me to do a video of my shoe collection but it would unfortunately be extremely short. I know that probably not all of you are as massively obsessed with beautiful shoes as I am. If you are why don't you tell us in the comments what your dream shoes or your dream parks would look like. I'm still deciding what my next ones are going to look like because there will be next ones, there will be hopefully many more where this came from. Because we're doing up our apartment at the moment, I want to have like a shelf just for shoes. And I want as many of those shoes to be pikes as possible. Because I feel like that is important for my life. I don't have a problem, I can stop anytime I want. Thank you very much for watching and as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other and I'll see you next time. Bye!